Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to overclock your GPU in order to enhance its performance. Let's hop right into it. First off, what is actually overclocking? Overclocking is the process by which someone will boost their core clock speed and their memory clock speed in order to make the GPU perform faster and complete calculations faster. Alright, let's now get into how to actually overclock your GPU. So what you're going to want to do is go into, go to the link in the description, which should be evga.com slash precision x1. Once you go to there in your browser, then what you'll want to do is scroll down all the way until you reach to your precision version. Once you're there, go to the very left and select precision standalone. Download the file and then close out of your browser once it's downloaded. Move the file to your desktop after that and then unzip it. You can do that by right clicking and then extract all and then extract. Once you're there, double click the um, once it's extracted, double click the extracted exe file, which is right here for me, and then go through the installation process after clicking yes. Next, I agree. Next, and install. Once you've done that, uh, you can double click this file, the shortcut, and click yes. It'll either open this up or open it in here so what you'll want well open it hidden in your taskbar so what you'll want to do is click the carrot key the carrot icon um and then there should be a icon that looks like this in the lower right corner if it opened in here and you can use that click on that and then it'll open up here Once you're here, you can see that there are a bunch of things you can do here. First off, since I've already overclocked, I'm going to reset. And now, what you need to do is, there are many ways you can approach this. The easiest way is to just click boost lock. And what that'll do is it'll lock your GPU's core clock to, like, it'll approximately multiply it by one and a half times. Once you've done that, it'll be overclocked, but that's the easy way, and it isn't the best. So another thing you can do is go to the right, 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 and then click scan. What this will do is it'll automatically find the best overclock that's stable for your GPU. For mine, that it would say um, 80 and 200. So what you would do is take the memo C and then move, enter it into here. And then find the uh, GPU OC and enter it over here. Also, when you click scan, it should do this. And it'll change the bar, the graph. Once you've done all of that, click apply. And click save. And then head into setup. Start with OS and start minimize. And apply. Finally, the last way you can do this is you can just go here and then manually bump it both up by like 20. And then once you start seeing visual artifacts, which are like color streaks and weird glitchiness, weird glitchiness, which I'll edit in, edit in on screen what it would look like, then you just bump it down by 20 and then you're at your core, you're at your max overclock. Don't touch the uh, voltage modifier though because that can mess up your graphics card for good. Otherwise, it'll just black screen and you'll be back in a few seconds if you only mess with these two. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Post-production sit here. This will only work with a graphics card of the RTX line, like an RTX 3090, 
GTX 10 series, like a GTX 1070, and a GTX 16 series, like a GTX um, 1660. I have a GTX 1660 Ti, that's why this worked. It also has to be from the manufacturer EVGA, otherwise you'll have to use another software such as MSI Afterburner, which will work with everything.